Hello, YouTubers. Joe Kersey here on uh, July 1st, 2017 at 16.10 in the afternoon Eastern Time. I'll make a few preliminary comments here. Uh, first of all, uh, yes, uh, on July 2nd, 1776, the Continental Congress passed uh, the Resolution for Independence, and it was on July 4th that the actual document was published. Uh, uh, you know, they voted on it in, the, in July 12th, and then Thomas Jefferson and, you know, et al. had sort of, you know, known this. You know, I'm sure they didn't sit down and just dash this off the night after that. Uh, and it was published. And so July 4th, you know, the date of the publication has always been taken as our Independence Day. So let's remember, sometimes terrorists win. Ours did, anyway, for what it's worth. And yeah, that's what it was. That's what they were. That's what the British considered them, terrorists. They didn't have the word then, but that's essentially how they acted. So sometimes it does work, folks. So all these people are pontificating about terrorism. You know, just have a couple of thoughts about that. Now, to very essential matters. Harkin well, very essential matters. Anybody over the age of 18, anybody over the age of 18 should not watch or listen to what is about to follow or read the material in my description box. So all you individuals over 18, or under 18 rather, under 18, under 18, I probably misspoke. Anybody under 18 should not watch any further, period. You know, cut it off. What is going to happen here is you're going to have a poem. You're going to hear a poem read that I wrote today about a recent situation with myself. Uh, I can't make any more specifics about the individual, other individual involved because I promised him I would not. So I don't think there's any way anybody can infer from what I'm saying who he was or is, is or was. I hope, hope not was. I hope he still is. Uh, but, you know, put the dogs and kids away on this one. I'm very, very serious. I am. I, I know I sound like I'm not, but I really am. Because this is going to get really raw, dudes. I imagine I'm going to be losing several straight subscribers over this one. But that's, that's neither here nor there. I mean, you know, I... The premise of this channel was to always speak the truth in peace and love, and, 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 you know, I'm not hiding the fact I'm gay. Gay men like to have sex with each other. That's just the fact of the matter, folks. And it had been a really long time. Three years, in my case. Before that, many more years than that. Having said that, <coughs> here with my poem for today, or from today, or written today, and corrected many times, several times. The title of this poem is Antipodes Man. <coughs> Pardon me. Man from halfway around the world, unknown to me but for his name, Watching me on YouTube. Three and a half years, he said. I'm looking at other people I watch as well. Commenting. Making his presence known. But subtly. Infrequently. Enigmatically. But there. Making me aware. At least I became aware. Then out of the blue, a message on a video. Can he drop in on me while traveling the U.S.? Well, of course. No brainer. <clears throat> what to expect? 
He had no YouTube picture or profile or his own videos. Normally, I would not give such a person the time of day, except as a courtesy one human being owes to another. But his comments have been humane, well-spoken, courteous, informed. Not a man one would ignore intentionally or willfully do an act that would hurt him. A debater or text. He's in town. Can he come up? Yes, yes, most certainly, yes. Serendipity. My son was here when he arrived. Good talk. My son had to leave for another work engagement. Now together, by ourselves, just we two. Deeper talk. Specifics exchanged. Backgrounds exchanged. Experiences exchanged. eyes staring into eyes, moving closer together in our chairs, his hands reaching out to take off my shirt, my hands reaching out to take off his shirt, touching each other, leaning in to lick his pits, him sucking my nipples, me sucking his nipples, staring into each other's eyes as we come together and kiss, deeply, Intensely, passionately, bruising each other's necks, shoulders, well, that was later, with our mouths, teeth, tongues, hand in hand, yes, a cliche. We go into the bedroom. I'd already cleared all the books off the bed, clothes drop into piles quickly. Bodies together, skin on skin, man feeling and stroking man, deeply, intensely, passionately. Finding out what each of us likes, enjoys, asks for. Intensely hard cock getting sucked, deeply. More kissing, tongues and mouths. Tasting each other's skin and sweat, breathing each other's breath, fingers probing and enjoying taints and cracks and buttholes, sucking and twisting and pinching nipples, licking and tasting pits, playing with chest hair, pubes, pit hair again, tasting taints and buttholes again, loving all his hair on his legs and his ass and his taint, getting down to that sensitive part of the base of the neck. Asking each other to leave a mark. Something to remember this occasion by, at least for a while until it fades. As the memory will not. Me sucking, him sucking, me jacking, him jacking. Not quite to fruition. Enjoying the time, the delay, the intensity as it builds. Now it is time. I fetch rubbers and lube, grease myself up, water soluble only, please. Quick as a flash, and before I know it, he has the rubber on his cock, on my belly, ass up. That's how he wants it. Fine by me. Into me. Onto me. Pounding into me. Faster. Harder. Deeper. Hitting that really good spot. Again. And again. And again, arms enfolding me, grasping me under my pits and around my shoulders, body pressing hard against me, oh, how great, kissing and sucking on my neck, my shoulders, hard, marking me, claiming this moment for the two of us. Then the build-up, breathing hard against the side of my face, and the shudder as he pumps his load into the rubber, lingering with his cock in my ass, more affection. I am completely held and had by him, enjoying the moment, the time together, connecting on the most basic level. He rolls off.
We face each other again on our side, staring, whispering, lingering, breathing each other. He said I was his first man. Interlude. Let's take a shower together, he agrees, always fun, soaping and fingering each other's buttholes, cocks, backs, ass cracks, pits, crotches, chests, appreciating, looking at each other, penetrating each other in a different way. Some might say a more important way, I shan't dispute that, but... Then back to bed, more talk and holding, voices getting quieter and quieter. And words more simple and basic, barely whispering now. Two syllables and no dependent clauses for the syntax mavens out there. Meaning conveyed more clearly, directly, quickly, as if there were any doubt now. Asking him to let me kiss his eyes. Total trust there. I kiss his eyes over and over during the rest of the night. His eyes were so beautiful. He is such a beautiful man. His arms around me, my arms around him. Sometimes we just held hands, lying side by side. We're facing each other, gazing at each other, into each other's eyes, kissing, whispering, breathing into each other. And then after a brief sleep, I start sucking him. And then he straddles my chest, looking up at him, his cock in my mouth pinching and pulling on his nipples. As I suck and he intermittently jacks himself, I'm ready to come. Suck me, suck me. Unloading into my mouth. I take him deeply into my throat. He pumps. I swallow. I savor. We kiss. We share. He savors. Brief drifting off and on to sleep. Whispered conversations. He plays my chest hair. No one has ever done that before. He plays with my pubes. A lot of guys think they're too long. No shaving here. I do the same to him. Heck, I've been doing the same to him all along. As 3 a.m. as 3 a.m. as 3 a.m. comes around, I think I took off my watch. I reach for his cock and start jacking it slowly at first, and then faster and faster and faster. These things take a while, and you don't want to. You don't wish for it to go fast. He's fully awake now, kissing, cock against bellies, his and mine, grabbing me hard. He grabs my shoulders. He shoots, licking up his cum, rubbing what's left over him and me, kissing, sharing, being. My finger up his ass. Hard to find it, he was so tight. He seemed to like it. First time there for him, too, he said. I believe that. First light. I have to get up, but he sleeps on for a while. I drive him back to his hostel. We kiss. We part. Joe Kersey on July 1st, 2017. Bye-bye, YouTubers. Don't click off too fast now.